Hi, welcome to Grace Crafty Creations. Thanks for taking time out of your day to hang out, chit chat, craft, and create with me. I did it again. I went to Hobby Lobby. It's been in, like two weeks, I think, maybe, since I've been to Hobby Lobby. I went to find one thing, and you know how it goes. One thing leads into other things. So I went originally for these. I needed more bags and they were not on sale this time but I needed them so I got them for the $2.99 and while I was walking around these are 5.5 by 8.5 I saw these ones in the party section you get 25 for 99 cents they're 5 by 7 so those work beautifully for doing cards and while I was there I found a few other goodies so in the party section I found some more of these and I have embroidered these and stocked them and I'll show you. I sold a few. They are really pretty. I'll show you in a picture at the end on what I've done with them. And then I bought these lovely little, these are gorgeous. Are they not? I thought these would be great to do like a little happy mail thing with put some washi tape on them so I thought that would be really cute to do and I got some more of the ink blendings they were $3.99 and these are the rounded ones the last ones I bought were flat round so I got those and then I got some tickets $3.99. That is such a good price. Doesn't tell you how many are in here on here, but I love that there's it's two-sided. And these are gorgeous and so much fun to alter. Now I can stamp them as well. And now I have some that I can alter without having to stamp them. And then I bought these to do a project with. Uh, you get four crayons in each box. And it was a good price. You get 12 packs. So I usually do up a dozen of the little creative packs for the uh, craft fairs I do during the summer. So I thought this would be great for that. Change up the covers. And they have little crayons for it. And then I found these. How cute are these? It's a three pack of fancy windows. I thought this would be so adorable to do with a craft project. Even putting on a card with that floral background, you would have it like behind it. How pretty would that be? Right? Like gorgeous, right? So I grabbed two packages of those, 99 cents. It was such a great price. I thought they would be thinner, but I'm okay with the thickness on them. I think that going on a journal cover would be really great for them. And for 99 cents, it's a perfect price, I think. And then I got these. Now my thought on these is shakers. You get 12 count, so two of each design. So you have stars, cupcakes. Um, it looks like a different type of star, cat eyes, and then there's hearts, and then another one. So I thought we could cut it down. That would make a great uh, shaker, right? Really pretty. And you get two of each pair, so really you're getting 24 shaker backgrounds, fronts, backgrounds, fronts. And all you need to do is add paper. Then I got a couple other things. Let me pull them out of this bag here. So I got these. I did not have them in the pink and I really love this color. They're so fun to create with and you can change the tips and everything. And they accept ink. So I loved that. And how fun are these beads? Are they not cool? They're little dices. Dice? Little dice? Dices? They are 2.8 eight ounces and it was 50% off so 4.49 minus the 50% and you get them in so many colors I thought those would be fun to create with then I found these and they are place cards 
So you get, it says 24 count. Perfect, right? Really gorgeous. And these would be so much fun to alter, to create with. Where is, we'll use this. So I do those little tuck spots and journals and having a rounded one will be so perfect. That's what I was thinking. We could have a tuck spot where we could put stuff in there like that. So just gluing here and here, how great would that be? Not having to worry about rounding those edges. I got them in both sizes. So they have them in this size and these are blank. So that's great. I don't know if these are blank on both sides or not. But I figured it can, if they're not, then they can be um, changed up. So they're not blank, but we can add stuff to them, add paper, right? They're really cute and they would be really adorable even having the table numbers and stuff on them. I think they're cute. And it's a great way to reuse them, right? So I got those and then I got these lovely things and I gotta grab one thing so I bought these I got these lobster clasps and I bought the small necklace pieces because I was asked um, if I sold my charms charm dangles I guess you'd call them oh, I'm gonna drop it <laughs> like on the red color saturation journal here, like these pieces here, I was asked if I sold those with a lobster claw. So I thought about it and I went, I think I can. So I went ahead and did them, a bunch of them up like that. I thought they would be really pretty for people to put onto their journals and whatnot. So I did those with the lobster claws, but I didn't want to just have this piece for when I bring them to fairs and whatnot. So I thought, my thinking was these would work great with that and it was $1.99 for 75 pieces, which is a really great, great price. And they have this little sticky back on there. I only need one. So they have this little sticky back that you just pop these little pieces out like that. So my thinking was, will these fit there? Like right there. But then I was like, I don't know if they will. But I do have a whole drawer of these lovelies. So I thought I could pop that on like this. Have that little piece there. And then I could pop that off. And that goes back on like that so it'll have that hanger and then I just open up the claw and I put it on that elastic and then I can still show it will still have that piece that people can see when they're at the fair they'll see how pretty they are when they're dangling right so I thought that would work really well and it has that really cute little hook on there it shows it perfectly so I'm really happy that that works out and they're small enough that I think the racks at Michael's because I need to get a spinny rack. Mine broke at my last fair. Uh, so I think that will work really well for that. So that is my little haul. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.